and welcome to another episode of Uba. Today we are continuing talking about CDK pipelines, answering some of your questions. And in this case, I want to address the question of how I can test things if I don't want to push it to production with CDK pipelines. And also very valid questions you ask me a lot. Like, because, well, if you don't know what CDK pipelines are, I leave you a link in the description box, but in a nutshell, they are uh, a way to deploy your applications to the cloud. It creates as many stages as you want. So you have uh, in the example that I give you pre-prod and prod. And basically the moment you push your content into GitHub or whatever repo you are using, and the deployment process will start. It will start pushing it to pre-prod in our case, then run some integration tests or doing whatever you want to do, and then eventually go into production. But what happens with all those things that we want to test before we go into production? There is so much infrastructure and many things that we do that we don't go on to go all the way. And that's what we are going to address today. I want to show you a simple way that you can take advantage of immutable infrastructure and the cloud and the magic of having components that can be created and can be thrown to trash. So what we are going to do today? Well, I will show you how to create a local and personal environment for you to deploy all those tests that you are doing and try things out and then remove them and merge those things back into the main branch and when everything is tested and take it to production because that's what we want to do. Um, if you're watching this, yes, you, you, no, don't look around, hit that like button. You might, you might like this, you, you need this solution. So let's continue. Let's go to the code and I will start from our main application that we have for CDK pipelines that I built in the initial uh, project. You can find the link in the GitHub repo and I will show you how to do it. So this is a simple app. We have um, the main app that is basically launching the CDK uh, pipelines. And then we have um, the pipeline stack itself. Then we have the uh, basic stack where we, in this case, are deploying a Lambda function, an API gateway. And then we have the stage that basically is creating that uh, stack. My naming is terrible and in this case it doesn't help, but this stage basically is creating the, the stack where the Lambda function and the gateway are. <laughs> and all this is deployed with the CDK pipeline. And here you can have more complex things. So imagine now that we want to have our own environment. So what we will do is in the main application, we are going to create a new stage. And this is important. Create a stage. Don't create the stack, create the stage. And name it something, clearly. In my case, I put Marcia Personal. This will stay locally in your machine. Don't commit this to GitHub because then everything will start mess up. So this you can have locally to play and to test. And then you can basically define an account and a region where to deploy this. This can be the same where your CDK pipeline is or where your environments are, or it can be a personal account to try things out. So this is something that doesn't go to GitHub. This is something that stays in your machine. But in this way, you will be able to create a stack that you can deploy to the cloud and deploy all the same resources without triggering the CDK pipeline, because that's what we want at the end. We don't want this to go to production. We want this to, to test it in an environment and play around and then delete everything. So in my configuration, I created a personal environment with an account number and a region. If you don't know how to do this configuration, I leave you the link in the description box where I talk about environmental variables in CDK and CDK pipelines. But for now, that's it. And then that's kind of the only thing I need to do in my code. I need to add that little line that is creating the stack with that name. So the first thing we are going to do, that's all the code we need. The first thing we are going to do is to run npm run build. So we are building this application with the new changes. I am opening the CDK out because you will see it in a moment what will happen. So we build everything and then we run CDK synth. This will synthesize all the cloud formation for our application. And you will see in the CDK out where this cloud formation sits 
a new uh, folder that says assembly Marcia personal, and that's the stack that we want to deploy. So here is all the resources that we want to go to our personal environment. So now I will do this command, CDK deploy, and then I will pass the assembly Marcia personal. And in that way, everything that is defined in there will get deployed and it will be deployed in the account and the region I told. So for this example, I'm deploying in the Stockholm region. So you can see uh, when, when we get this deployed that everything um, will be in Stockholm. So this is important for you to put an account and a region, but it will get deployed with a different name. So if you're deploying exactly in the same region as your stages are, it's no problem because your stack will be named, uh, in my case, Marcia Personal, and then the name of your resources. So nothing is conflicting and that's great. So uh, we will wait until everything is deployed and then we can uh, check this out in the cloud. So when everything is deployed, we can go to the cloud. We can see that there is the URLs for the API gateway. Everything looks there and everything looks uh, that's Stockholm. And then I go to my Stockholm region and I can see that my uh, stack is deployed. I can see all the resources that this CDK created. Everything is there. We can test it. It works. Everything is nice and my own. So I can test the infrastructure no problem there. And then I can basically go to CloudFormation and delete that stack and that stack disappear until further notice. And that's kind of it. Then uh, I can merge back those, com like those, if everything works, I can merge back those things into the main branch of GitHub where I've been working and push to the CDK pipelines to get it. Uh, integration tests and all those tests that we care about, but I'm sure that everything kind of works in my machine. <laughs> So that's the video for you today. I hope you like these tips on CDK pipelines. These are questions you ask me about this and I'm more than happy to answer them. Let me know in the comments what other questions you would like me to answer about CDK pipelines and I will make videos about it. I see you in the next episode of Ubar. Ciao, ciao!